You have a hard time studying and preparing for tests? I got something for you. Watch this. Hey, what's up? This is Cantus Simmons, academic success expert and leading authority on school improvement, as well as the author of Playing Your A Game. And today, in this video, I want to talk to you about some of the frustrations you may have when taking school tests and standardized tests. And I want to share with you a little piece of advice that uh, I can suggest to you on how to prepare for those tests. Now, over the last few weeks, I've received a lot, I mean, absolutely a lot of emails. Uh, people hit me on Facebook and Twitter, as well as even when I'm speaking at schools live, people, students coming to me, educators, parents, asking me various questions about the challenges and the frustrations that they're having when preparing for tests and studying for tests. What I want to do real quickly here is just go over some of these frustrations and maybe you're dealing with uh, some of these frustrations and, and hopefully, you know, I can address some of these frustrations for you. Number one, I have a hard time studying a few days before the exam. Number two, I have a hard time preparing for the test. Third one here is this, when it's time to take a test, I absolutely go blank. Uh, I'm very anxious during the test. I get very frustrated that I, uh, I'm timed while taking a test. I run out of time when I take a test. <laughs> Simply, I don't know the answer to the test. Uh, I don't know what to study for or when to study. I have the inability to excel on tests. I do all that I can, but I can never seem to get it right. Uh, there's no real time to study in my personal life. I have too many things going on. Uh, there's so much pressure behind just taking one test. And here's another one. Uh, how do you deal with questions that you've never seen before that have never been covered in the class? Now, <laughs> like these many frustrations, I've dealt with a lot of them. I remember uh, as a high school student, it was time to take the SAT and all of the pressure that built up around that. Um, for me, that was a big time in my life because coming out of high school, I was offered a full academic marching band scholarship with a, a great school called Florida a &M University down in Florida. And they offered me a full academic band scholarship and they told me, hey, Cantus, all you have to do is just send us your SAT scores. So cool. I took the SAT, sent them my scores. But you know what happened? After taking the SAT four times, four times, I still came up 40 points short from uh, the required SAT to receive that scholarship. And you know what? They took the scholarship back from me. And no, I didn't go to Florida Indian University. I ended up going to Norfolk State University. Now, why do I share that with you? I share that with you because I too, understand all of the pressure, all of the frustrations that come with taking the test. I mean, if you think about it for a second, you take tests in elementary, middle school, you have standardized tests, you have graduation tests, out of high school to go to college you take tests. Uh, I remember coming out of college, I took the GRE to go into grad school and when you're working on your master's degree or PhD, there's other tests, there's opportunities where you have to defend your dissertation. And even when you go into corporate America, uh, there are tests giving out. So there are a lot of things that can go through your mind, a lot of things that you deal with where taking tests and tests are really important. And what I want to share here real quickly is what I call the 50-50 principle. Now, regardless of what your frustration may be, and even if I didn't name one of your frustrations, I would love to hear uh, some of the frustrations or challenges that you're dealing with. But uh, I want to share with you something that has really helped me over my academic career in school. It's something I call the 50-50 principle. Now, you may have seen this before, you may have heard this before, but uh, this is what I call the 50-50 principle. So, let's say you're taking a test in a certain class, right? And everybody knows that when you're in class, you spend more than 70% of the time in class listening to the lecturer listen to your teacher or professor. And the 50-50 principle works like this. I want you to take your notebook and I want you to draw a line down the middle of your notepaper. And then on the left-hand side of the paper, I want you to take all of your classroom notes on the left side of the paper. 
all the most important details, uh, the key things that the teacher is talking about in the classroom, those most important concepts that your professor is lecturing about, write those, take all your classroom notes on the left-hand side. You got that? Only on the left-hand side. Now you do that, I mean, as you go through page by page, only on the left-hand side. And then when you get home or when you go to study uh, for this certain class, what I want you to do is this. On the right-hand side of the paper, as you're studying the notes on the left-hand side, I want you to write out uh, potential test questions that may go along with the study notes on the left-hand side. So if there's a great concept, let's say it's a math problem that uh, a principal is on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side, you come up with your very own test questions. Hey, what would be a good test question to go along with the study note? What would be something that you think your teacher would ask about this concept? And then you do that all the way down. On the left side of the piece of paper, you take your classroom notes. On the right hand side of the paper, you make up your own study notes. You know, here's the thing about it. So many times we talk about preparing for tests, and one of the ways to get better at performing on tests is practicing taking tests. And that's why this 50-50 principle is very well, very good. Because as you take the notes on the left hand side, you're preparing for the test on the right hand side. And what's this going to do? It's going to help you retain more. It's going to help you get over some of that anxiety because you're going to be highly prepared. Hey, that's all I have right now. Hey, what I want you to do for me, along with applying this 50-50 principle, I want you to tell me, just leave me a comment, let me know if there are other frustrations and challenges that you may be having with taking uh, tests or standardized tests is concerned. I want to answer them. I want to help you. All right? My name is Cantus Simmons, and remember this, only one game in life counts, and that's your a game. Have a good day.